Hello everyone. In this video, let us try to understand how to write GE5103W3A charter. The topic is related to developing a project uh, charter for conducting community awareness program activity. So this is the task. This contains of four important sections that has to be developed and the document should be developed on APA 7 format. Okay, so let me try to brief you about different sections and uh, the purpose of creating the charter. So usually charitable trusts, what they do, they create some type of events in the society so that they bring certain awareness about a social cause for which the activity is conducted. Here, the purpose is to plan a community event. The planning is to conduct a community plan. For this one, we are supposed to generate a project plan, I mean project charter. This involves certain activities. This is the main purpose of conducting this event is to raise awareness for a social cause. And it involves different activities. The event itself involves different type of activities such as fundraising work, fundraising work or on a charity auction, a concert featuring local performers like this. If you see here, it is just such as. So you can include few more uh, activities that can be conducted as a part of community event. Okay, so make sure you 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 are you are free to use some other activities that you will be conducting as a part of community event. You can add one or more events that usually community programs consist of. Okay, so you are the in charge of project charter of this event. The project charter. This is here. He is explaining the purpose of how how the project charter will help a project manager will serve as a guide for entire event, providing direction and clarity on goals, scope and expectations of the project. Okay, so this document, whatever the doc content you generate for these five sections that help us, like if you are planning for an event to conduct, that will be helping you. All these details will help you to successfully complete the community event. Okay, to develop the charter, it is very important that you follow the following steps and complete them. First one is, you are supposed to describe uh, project goals, objectives and deliverables. So for this one, it is very important to mention in detail what are your goals, what are your objectives and what are your deliverables. So first goals are ultimate things. Goals are ultimate things that you will be uh, completing as a part of doing this project. While writing the goals, you will be mentioning what is your ultimate objective of uh, completing this uh, Com conducting this community event, what could be the ultimate thing that you are going to achieve from that. So maybe bringing social cause or rising certain amount of money for conducting, completing the activity, rising certain money for the charity trust by co conducting charity auction and uh, by collect collecting certain amount of money by per conducting performance, different type of performances or some XYZ activities that you conduct to generate fund for rising fund for the charity. So these could be some of your activities. Okay, you are supposed to add three to three uh, uh, to three activities to make sure that uh, that generate certain amount of fund to the charity trust. Okay, so we can add one or more activity along with these three. As a part of completing uh, generating funds, you will be doing different activities. They will become your objectives. Okay, so to achieve goals. You, you need to do some activities. Otherwise, you can say that fundraising by using walk or run. For this one, you are supposed to do three or four activities like uh, uh, like uh, advertising about the fundraising walk and run. Then uh, uh, maybe like uh, making uh, preparing for the walk or run and uh, completing the walking or run like that. There will be certain objectives which makes your goal to get achieved. Okay, goal will be the ultimate one. To perform that goal, we will be doing certain activities that will become objectives. So, this, these objectives are part of goal. Okay, each goal may continue, consists of two or three objectives. Okay, this is how we write. And finally, what are the deliverables? So, what kind of deliverables uh, your project will be having that you should mention. In addition to that, you discuss uh, specific activities that will be conducted as a part of the event and for each event you should mention the start date and end date and what amount it will be including. These things should be mentioned as a part of this scope. 
So let me do ABC. So after completing this one, you are supposed to identify stakeholders. So let me make you understand who are stakeholders. Stakeholders are someone who can influence the decision, influence the project by making decisions. Usually project owners, the people who are sponsoring it, the project managers, departmental heads like this, these people will have authority to either continue with the project or stop the project, allocating budgets, other things. So they are the stakeholders and the people who get affected, primary customers who might deny the product, if they deny it, the purpose of project cannot be satisfied. So usually the owners, sponsors, departmental heads, people who are working and making sure that the project is complete, means employees and finally customers, all these people come, become uh, stakeholders of the activity. Here some of the important uh, participants, stakeholders are mentioned here. You can add few more and it is very important that you explain if volunteer is the stakeholder, what could be his role? What is his main role and responsibility with respect to the project? If there is a sponsor, what is his role and responsibility as a part of completing the project? The participants, the people who are doing the act. So what is their role and responsibilities? Attendees, these are uh, the customers that are visiting the activity. So for all these people, you are supposed to give your uh, their roles and responsibilities. So make sure you mention the name of the stakeholder and give their roles and responsibilities. These four not enough actually. You are supposed to give your own two or three extra elements. Next, project milestones. What are the key milestones that you uh, are going to achieve as a part of conducting this? So each uh, main goal that is mentioned above that can be considered as a milestone. Say for example, if the activity is conducting fundraise walk in, walk by run, that is that becomes one milestone that can be achieved, uh, like that can, which is achievable. Okay, so this can be one milestone. Otherwise, if all these things are conducted at a time. You will be dividing it into planning, implementation, testing. All these activities will come into scene. So uh, according to me, you can mention whatever the key goals are there. Same goals as milestones. And for each milestone, there will be certain deliverable. What is the deliverable? That should be explained. Establish. Okay. So you are supposed to mention what are your milestones and what are your deliverables. So for each milestone, you are supposed to mention your start date, end date, and as a part of milestone, what you will be doing, okay, what kind of activities we do. And the next one is determining the budget. Develop a detail, detailed budget that includes the cost associated with projects such as venue rental. So what could be the cost of it? Then what kind of equipment we need to complete the event? What kind of marketing uh, material that we need? Uh, cost associated with each resource okay and you can we can mention uh, you can also mention some other uh, kind of expenses that could include as a part of the activity so make sure you mention additional three or four uh, expenses that helps uh, to keep plagiarism away okay next you will be mentioning what is the how the potential sources of funding is done okay such as grants and donation so you you will be mentioning like for whatever the costs that are mentioned here we will be allocating from our charity trust from xyz charity trust so whatever the trust name we can give if not unless it is not necessary to give name but the charitable trust will be giving a grant or how much grant what is the cost based on that the such grant or donation will be provided to the provided to conduct the activity that should be mentioned here. Finally, project risk and uh, develop risk management plan, determine likelihood impact of each risk and define mitigation strategies. So usually like when we take when we take project management, this kind of activity, there will be different types of risks uh, that involve in uh, completing, successfully implementing and completing the project. They might include very general risks such as maybe power cut, electric, electrical short circuits, 
maybe these are the kind of uh, issues might experience when we do the pro this kind of event management kind of project okay so for example uh, electrical shortcut circuit will happen electrical short circuit happen in the table form you can write likelihood so for this task likelihood means how frequently it might happen so during the pro process of completing the uh, in proposed project while implementing it how frequently it might uh, happen maybe you can say rare okay rare so what kind of uh, impact it will be having on the project okay what kind of impact what it happens when short circuit happens everything will burn it create a huge loss to the organization right so the event cannot be conducted the uh, um, maybe like uh, the money that is invested will go go will be lost okay that you will be explaining then strategies to overcome it what strategies you adapt to overcome that so for each risk take at least four or five risks for each risk you are supposed to write likelihood impact and what kind of strategies you can apply to overcome this you can say maybe floods might happen uh, unexpected rains might come okay so some sh power cuts might happen okay so maybe absence of the participants if participants do not come to the event if you don't perform the people uh, might uh, agitate right because the part the like event is not conducted and their money is lost so in that way what happens in that situation for each situation you can write Take very general risks that could happen in our real life when certain events are conducted. And for that, you are supposed to mention likelihood, impact, and strategy. Okay. So by writing this, the document will be finished. I expect a uh, 800 word document on this. Okay. Uh, e like distribute uh, them equally, then discuss each and everything as it was mentioned. Last but not least, one important thing is. Check this link and make sure you add this uh, book as reference. Okay, that's all. That's all from my side. All the best. Do well. Thank you.